Hey creative, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. So today I'm going to show you how you can create those Instagram swipe carousel posts in Canva. I have everything I use listed in the description box below. And if you like this video, you learned something new, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and make sure that bell notification is on so you don't miss any of my upcoming craft tutorials. All right, creative, we're going to go ahead and start off in canva.com and we're going to hit create a design. And for this, we'll need a custom size. Now our height is going to be 1080 because uh, Instagram post, if you see right here, is 1080 by 1080. It's a square post, right? But we want, we don't want this just to be one singular square. We need multiple squares. So your height is going to be 1080. Now your width is going to depend on how many carousels you want to create. So for instance, I'm creating five. So I'm going to multiply 1080 by five and it's going to give me 5,400. Okay. So if you want to create six, you're going to do 1080 by six, 1080 by 10, you know, however many you want to create, that is how you will determine your width. So once you have that and we are in pixels, okay. So make sure you're in pixels. So once you determine that, go ahead and hit create new design. Now, Disclaimer before we get even get started. This isn't a how to make your Instagram grow kind of video. No, I'm just going to show you how you can design these carousels that the experts on Instagram say are helpful in helping your account grow. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to do the whole design and how you can use it in Canva. Uh, this isn't no how to grow tips anything like that okay but i will say when i do my caramels my carousel posts i do tend to see higher engagement for our save shares things like that all right so now that we have this we're going to go ahead over to file and we're going to view settings and we need your show guides and rulers need to be on okay because we have this one big long thing but we need to split it up to be able to we need to be able to split it up for our design for designing purposes so what you're going to do is go ahead and drag you a guide from the side and you're going to split it up basically into into squares right so my first one is going to be at the 1080 mark or as close to it as possible so 1079 is good I'm going to drag my second one over to 2160 and this does involve a little bit of math so basically I did like 1080 plus uh, 1080 times 2 which gave me the 2160 then 2160 plus 1080 which is uh, going to show you which gives you the numbers for where you'd be able to position your guides okay and my next one is going to be 3240. So it doesn't have to be exact, but you want it to be as close as possible. And my last one is going to be 43. Okay. So you see these squares? So all of these squares are 1080 by 1080. So they will fit on the Instagram feed. Okay. So now what we're going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and choose my background. I love the option now that we have these gradients and Canva goes perfect with like, you know, my branding and things like that. And I feel like, we, okay, so the things with carousels, they need to feel transitional, right? They need to kind of flow. And I feel like with a gradient background, it flows, right? Because you can, it just, I don't know, to me, that's just how I feel. So I, I, personally love using the gradient background for my um carousels just because it feels like it flows well so i think carousels are great when you need to present a bunch of information right so for me for example for this design i'm going to create this design about um this sublimation camp that i have coming up well at the time in this video it's already posted <laughs> right so i want to give my but we all know people don't read so i want to put like the more important information um in my carousels and then put like the detailed information in the caption right so i give them enough in the carousel 
to make them either want to go ahead and click my link or you know to read the caption if they need a little bit more information so first thing so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my images and so basically the sublimation camp is a free three-day virtual event that's like honestly very beneficial right um, you, if you're new to sublimation or it really doesn't even matter what skill level you want because I even learned a lot of things myself um, so you, you learn pretty much almost everything there is to learn about sublimation like you learn about your color profiles and color management printers printer settings uh, the bunch of us creators we did different projects with you and there's a ton of giveaways that you can be a part of as well so if you're in the sublimation and that sounds like you know something you want to be a part of of course i'll leave the link in the description uh box for you guys and i forgot to mention that it's free it's a free three-day virtual event okay i mean you have nothing to lose it's free <laughs> but it's actually very informative very helpful okay so I have this image, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, highlight it and we're going to go ahead and remove the background. Now, of course, the remove background feature is the Canva Pro feature. So if you don't have Canva Pro, uh, there will be a free 30-day trial link for you in the description box in this video as well. And we're just going to, I want to get my um, image together first before I like kind of start adding text and stuff. This and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so that it fits on this. So now that I have this, okay, so the whole point of these guidelines, right, is whatever I want, whatever text or images I want to use, you want to keep it right here, okay, because this right here is where your image will be split. So if you have any text. Let me, let me hit the T on my keyboard, bring up a text box. So if you have any text right here, when you go to split it, the text will be cut off. Don't cut off your text, okay? Because it, it's hard, it, it's hard to read when you do the carousels, but you can split, cut off a picture. And I always cut off the picture because then it lets you know, okay, I need to swipe over to kind of connect the picture if hopefully that makes sense right so i would leave this picture right here and i'll just go ahead and add some text let me see and I'm just going to keep it there then I'm going to go ahead and move on to my other slide I want everything to be easy to read okay because if it's hard to read ain't nobody going to sit there and try and read it so you want it to be as easy to read as possible you don't want it to be too wordy either right that's what the captions will be used this image as my transitional one I'm not really sure about that I might come back and change this later so i'm just going to go ahead and add all my text and images um kind of speed up that process for you guys y'all don't have to watch <laughs> watch me do that but i'll come back when there's something important to share okay so as you can see i have my design have all my text um i didn't do anything really crazy just added text uh, change the color on some of the text like the important information because you know people don't read they kind of scan so you know just kind of highlighted some of the important information so now that you have your design okay so now that you have all that we're going to go ahead and hit share and you're going to download this as a png to your computer okay so while that's downloading we're going to go ahead to pinetools.com this is one of my favorite free resources and you're going to type split image into the toolbar oops i did not spell that correctly let's see if it still 
uses the spillage rates. Okay, then you're going to go ahead and click this. Now you're going to upload that image that you just saved from Canva. And it says, how do you want to split your image? You want to do it horizontally. And the width of blocks, you're going to do 1080. And then you're just going to go ahead and hit split image. And you can go ahead and preview one. So if I just click that and open it, you see? You see how it's split? My image is kind of cut off right there. How uh, That's exactly how we want it. Exit out of that. And we'll just go ahead and download the zip file of these. And once you download the zip file, go ahead and extract it. And you see, you see how everything is all split? So like when they're swiping, it all kind of comes together. You see? Now you can also do this on the mobile, right? You can create your image, then save the, uh, save that long, save this long image on your phone. And you can do pine tools from your phone as well. Or, like if you do it on the computer, what I usually do, I either, I do both. I do it on my phone and I do it from the computer. But if I do it from the computer, then I go back into Canva. I create an Instagram post. I'm just going to go ahead and upload all these images into Canva. Then I'll just take the image, uh, make it the, set it as image background, add a page, do that for all of the images. Now, once I have everything uploaded, this is usually when I move over to my phone and I'll save the images from the Canva app to my phone and I'll upload it into my Instagram. So this is what it looks like in the Canva app on your mobile device once you've uploaded all the images onto Instagram as separate pages. And you just go ahead and download it and save it as a PNG to your phone. Go ahead to Instagram and select all the photos that we want to use for this carousel. And then make sure you preview them to make sure they're in the correct order. Go ahead, um, add your filters or whatever it is you need to do. Upload your Instagram caption. And there you have a seamless carousel post. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.